Hi there Pisces, I'm Jennifer Angel and these are your stars for December. Great month for you. You have a new moon in your career zone, your 10th house. So what that means it's a new start um, for work, career, business. It's like your new solar year starting. So it's a very positive time. You've got an abundance of planets affecting your business at the moment. So it's almost like the things you've been working on can, can come uh, into fruition, that you can make them a reality. Um, a lot of Pisces I know have been like working so hard this month, it's almost like, uh, you know, you're almost at the top of the mountain and you want to give up. Don't give up because it's like when you're at the top of the mountain, it's like there's only a few more steps and you're there. And that's what it feels like for you at the moment. Now, the other great things that are helping astrologically in your life at the moment is that you have Jupiter, which is the planet of uh, abundance in it's called the lucky planet in your sign uh, back in phase and Uranus, which is the planet of originality and creativity. So it's like original creative thought. Great for you. Um, comes back in phase this month as well. So it all helps to work for you to make your life and your dreams, more importantly, a reality. Um, so keep that in mind. There's lots happening next year too. So what happens this month really kicks off for 2011. It's going to be a great year for you. So do come back um, and have a, have a listen to see what's in store for 211 for you. And just before we close off today, I want to just mention about your love life. Okay, so Pisces just love to be in love. Well, you have a full moon, which is also a lunar eclipse. So it's more intense energy than a normal full moon in your love zone. So it could give you a little bit of a shaker, um, makes you look at what you want and what you don't want, forces you to make some decisions. And uh, most importantly, it will force you to it can be like the catalyst to make changes. And so it forces you to make changes that are going to be better for you, changes that are going to fit into your entire life. And if you're looking for love, you really need to look for somebody who's going to fit into the lifestyle that you want, that, um, you know, fit into you on a total level, mind, body, and spirit level, uh, not somebody who's just perhaps can hold a good conversation. You need a little bit more than that for you to go forward at this point. Have a great month, Pisces. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you next month. Bye for now.